mean, eating underwater can be challenging with your food floating around like that. Look at those two little fish. <laughs> They're out on a risky first date. <laughs> if you've ever bobbed for apples, then you know what it's like to have a mouthful of other people's saliva. You also know that in water it can be difficult to get things in your mouth without the use of hands. But sharks have figured out a few ways to go about it. One approach is called ram feeding, sort of a floating orifice or flashlight of the sea, perhaps fellatio as yet unrealized. <laughs> it's essentially just opening your mouth and swimming. But that's different than what this whale shark is doing, which is called suction feeding. Stop it. It repeatedly opens its mouth and creates negative pressure, sucking in water and the tiny things that it eats. Also bubbles. <laughs> they like the bubbles. I imagine it's sort of like underwater pop rocks. <laughs> or some sort of extreme whale shark diet. <laughs> no, seriously, it fills you up. 